So I thought we'd take a quick look at Drummer inside of Logic and a couple creative things you can do with it that you might not already know. So I'm gonna create a new Drummer track. And there you have it. So now what I can do if I want to edit this as if it were a MIDI file is I can just drag this, option click and drag, up to an instrument. I already have a MIDI drummer set up. And now I can edit all the notes that were in drummer as if it were a MIDI region down here. I can change any of this that I want to change. So I can also now, as of 10.7, convert that to a pattern region. And let me show you how that happens. First, let me quantize this. It'll work better. And now I'm going to shorten this to four bars. Seems to be a limitation on converting to a pattern region. So we're going to do this, convert to pattern region. And now we have a totally different way of editing it inside of the step sequencer. Still playing the same file. I'm going to get rid of the crash at the beginning just by clicking on it. I also noticed the hi-hats were a little bit loud, so we're going to change that. Open hi-hats, open this up. There we go. I'm going to drag all the velocities down. See what that sounds like. Okay, I'm okay with that. Now I'm gonna go down to the closed hi-hats. And this is where you get to have some fun. I'm gonna take this first one and convert it to four. So it's gonna play four quick hi-hats here. I'll boost the volume a bit so we can hear it. So this was a quick way to edit a pattern region and that works really great. But now maybe I want to convert it back to MIDI, which I can now do. Convert to MIDI region, and it's back to my MIDI notes. And I have those quick hi-hats now. All those edits I just did are now there inside of the MIDI region. So what can I do now? I'm going to take this MIDI region, option, hold, and click, drag down to my superior drummer, and I will play the same beat inside of Superior Drummer. So now I have a much better drum sound inside of Superior Drummer and I can use that having started with Logic's Drummer, converted to a MIDI, converted to a pattern, back to MIDI, and into Superior Drummer. Well, hopefully this workflow can help you be a little bit more creative inside of Logic. If you want more help, message me or come visit me at Jan Smith Studios.